All right, Coach, victorious in the first ever battle of the independence, as the league's calling it. So how did you see that one tonight? Yeah, I mean, for us, right, it was, it was really a, like, to be fair, right, we come in three games in eight days. We picked up six points. We would love to get nine points. Uh, but we knew coming into this game it was about getting through this game. We knew that we needed to look. I know the coach. I know the coaching staff. I knew they were going to come prepared, and they were prepared. I knew it was going to be a, knew it was going to be a difficult game, but there's no easy games in our league. It's, it's clear, right? So, you know, to get the three points and get through it, and now we have some days to train. I mean, we probably, hasn't, we probably haven't trained in 12 days. In terms of on-field, we've done some stuff, but nothing tactical or, or anything like that to really get across. A lot of video and those things. So we, we're looking forward to, well, I'm looking forward to training. So... Hey, can you, can you pinpoint maybe some aspects of the game that you're most pleased about considering the kind of challenge Carolina does pose? Well, I think Cullum getting, getting a start in 45 minutes. He did some things that we were really, like, looking for. Alex comes on and gives us a little bit of spark. So, um, Drew grew into the game. I think Taylor had one of his best games yet. Jesse had one of his best games yet. You know, I could go on and on. I'm happy about the team, right? You know me, I don't like to really single out any guys, right? But Milo was Milo. He's been pretty steady for us. I mean, totally defensively was good. Duvon was stand up again, right? Um, you know the guys that came on Taylor, Jesus. I thought that was one of their better games um, in terms of decision making. Uh, so I think there were some positive things there. And you know, you did mention Kyle at the beginning. And what do you think about the mid, that, this midfield trio? The first time they've they've been together at the start. Yeah, I mean, it was it was okay. It wasn't great, but it was we wanted to see it, right? So now we've pretty much seen enough of the trios to kind of figure out like where we want to go. Do we want to go with a fourth? Do we want to go with a five? So we're just kind of real touring around. We want to go with ten, <laughs> you know. And you know, as at, at the end of tonight, no matter what happens, it's, you're going to be top of the Eastern Conference. So yeah. You know, overall, uh, uh, what do you think to the, to the start of seven weeks into the season of, of your team's performance? Look, the guys show up, they work, they're competitive, um, and I think that, we, that we're putting ourselves in spots to, to win games. I mean, you know, we dropped, we dropped points last week, you know, midweek at, my, at, um, at, at Atlanta. Um, you know, we have a lead in New York, and we... You know, we lose it on penalties. So those things still stick and those things still burn. And those games are the ones that drive us to be better. Yeah, the, the wins are nice. Take it to that mountaintop experience. But we need to figure out why we drop points. And so that's just kind of the, the focus. Why do we drop points? Enjoy this. Celebrate this. This win. Love the fans. Love the fans who are supporting. Love we give them something to cheer about. You know, and so, you know, we, we just got to keep moving forward. And lastly, you know, maybe a word on Milo. You mentioned him earlier. I mean, scoring his first professional goal. Oh, it was? In, in that manner, I believe so. Okay. I'll triple check that. But, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, what, what do you think to his, to his, about his start of the season and how he's been? It's been really good. You know, Chris, Chris is the one that scouted at Milo, and he said, you know, we really should get him. Uh, and I said, do it, right? And, um, you know, we knew it would take Milo a little bit of time to understand our style, right? But the funny thing is, right, I, I, I kind of know Milo's history because I spent a lot of time in Albuquerque. And so I know his dad and I grew up, I know he grew up in, a, in a pro player's house, right? And, you know, good pedigree at North Carolina, uh, played at New Mexico United, you know, so that a team that wants to really possess the ball. So, look, I'm, I'm happy for Milo. So. And finally, Orlando, if we can go ahead and just mention what kind of challenge that's going to be and then how you're going to use this week to, to prepare for them. Yeah, I mean, we'll study them. I mean, look, teams come prepared. Teams come prepared in this league. You know, they're prepared. They know what you're going to do. They make it difficult, and you have to make plays. So, um, but generally, I think it'll be another tough match. Be another, they'll come, they'll fight, they'll battle, you know, and, and they will be very similar to any other team in the league, and their quality will shine, and we have to be at our best.